So we're going to have another horse training tip with Gemma. And uh, what are we doing, Gemma? So today we're going to look at teaching horses to stand still. And what you'll often find is if you start to walk, the horse will start to follow you. So we can teach them not to do that. We'll just go back to where we started again. So one of the ways to do this is when you take a step backwards, if the horse follows you, just ask the horse to take a step back. I can use my stick and point and then go back in once the horse is still and give them a scratch. And then I can build it up to take another step. Hey, hey, neck. Hey, hey. So what's, prob what's wrong with the horse following you Good. when you move? So one of the problems is that the horses aren't learning to stand still as a habit. And there's an association between the horse's adrenaline levels and how fast their feet are moving. And even horses that people think are standing still are often fidgeting around a little bit and taking one step and then taking another step. So teaching them to stand really still like this creates habit, it creates calmness. Right, and that's useful in a lot of aspects of owning a horse and vet treatment. It, it, so you're very focused there on the horse not having you as a person to follow. Yep, absolutely. So I don't want the horse to follow my body language at all. I want it to be a habit to stand still and that makes calmness be a habit. It's quite impressive what you've achieved just in a short space of time. So what are you actually doing, Gemma? So what we're doing is we're stepping back from the horse and if the horse goes to step forwards, I use the, my stick. You can use the head collar pressure, but it's easier to use the stick initially to teach them to take a step backwards. And then as soon as the horse stands still, back. so there we just correct. Can't eat any grass. As soon as the horse stands still, we then go in and give them a scratch and tell her she's a good girl. What are the key things not to do when you're trying to teach your horse to stand still? So I think don't go in and, and try and you know, use too much pressure with the stick. Don't scare them into stepping backwards. Um, one of the key things is to actually watch the horse's feet. So as you step backwards yourself, you watch the horse's feet and make sure that they're not moving. And then going in and giving them a nice scratch is really nice as well. So you should get to the stage where you can get to the end of the lead rope and you can stand at a distance from the horse and the horse then, then doesn't feel the need to move. Right. And what I'll do is I'll just move her a little bit and just practice that again, just to make sure we've got it nice and solid. It sounds so basic, but I can see that what you're achieving is just really applicable to so many things that you would do with your horse on an everyday basis. Yeah, absolutely. Just standing still for them to be groomed, to be tacked up. Like I say, the more you teach horses to stand still, the more calmness becomes a habit and the more relaxed they are to deal with generally. So th this looks really useful and I'm really impressed. How often should somebody do this with their horse? So I think initially just doing a, a short two, three minute session um, every day. But once the horse learns this, you just incorporate it into your daily routine and the horse is just taught to stand still unless told otherwise. How could you take this on further than what we've done here? So I think you build up to where you, you can face the same direction as the horse, which is much harder because they're used to following when we walk. Um, and then eventually you can put the leader up over the horse's neck or leave the reins there. And my own horse was one I was given because of behavioral problems. And I got to the stage within you know, a week or so whereby I could do that and go off and put my jumps out or get my gloves if I'd forgotten them and they just don't move. That's really useful. Yeah, great. So what are, the, what are the key things that we need to know? Just recap it for us. So I think the key things are that standing still creates good habit formation in the horse. Um, it creates calmness as being a habit, which is really useful for the vet. And that all you need to do to teach it is every time the horse moves, just correct them. And then when they do stand still, leave them alone or go in and give them a scratch. Great, I hope you found this video useful. I've certainly learned a lot in the last few minutes.